guess I'll try to do a review of this game and talk at the same damn time. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna try. Look at that. Camping. This is what all you people doing on this map. Alright, so my first impressions on Call of Duty Ghost. It's all kinds of trash. Map right here is all kinds of big. For no damn reason. It's like they took a page out of uh what is it? Battlefield 4? Like they copied off of it so much for no reason. Like the maps are so big, I feel like I should be able to target people from across the map. Like yo, there you go right there behind you. You can't do that, there's no point. Snipers on this map, this is definitely a sniper map, but it's way too big. At least that's what she said. Now I know I'm about to get hurt. Ah because I got my footsteps on and I don't have a freaking class that's set up for this map. Oh where he at, where he at? Dang, I could have got them both. Terrible. Um, basically, this game is all about perks. It's not about the streaks anymore, which is good. Uh, but it's so like every perk has a counter, so it's basically you gotta waste all your points on perks. Um, Soundhorn, this is definitely for those people who want to utilize the Astros, things of that nature. It's back. Soundhorn is back, baby. I like Black Ops that drowns out a lot of the Soundhorn. Uh, oh crap! Damn, man, I heard that beep and I'm mad slow reacting. So you see these holes are hiding in this castle here. They won't leave. That's pretty much all you do. Ah! So all, all this game is is that right there that you just saw hiding in the corners. Did he really tried to come get me. Is he, is he, think he is? Who do you think he was? Um, maps are too damn big. It's so many times, man. I just feel like, like I'm playing battle. Like I want to parachute out of, off of a building. Like where my parachute at? Ooh, got my doggy. The dogs, what oh, I'm about to get right now, they're mad trash. They like respawn after the fact. They don't really do too much. Ah, get down. Yo, it's like, and then there's like that. There's bombs and C4s and IEDs everywhere, and you can't really. Yo, come on. And my, see my dog, he gets to kill after the fact. Every time. You kill somebody before. Uh, it's really, this game is really going to boil down to how people play. But that's the problem. It's like, as you see, uh, like we're playing against a lot. Look at this dude. It's a, it's a lot of campers in this game. But that's not nothing new in Call of Duty. But I think the way the kill streaks are, the way, and not kill streaks, the way the perk system works, and how, you know, footsteps are loud as hell. It's almost like it's by design, they're trying to get people to have to buy headsets. I really feel that way, like, Black Ops 2 made a lot of people invest in those self-controllers. And, well, probably even modded controllers that some people got away with. But this game seems to be making people uh, use these damn um, headsets, man. Because if you don't have headsets or a nice surround sound, you probably... SOL. Uh... So it's really not, it's like the game is what it is, but. What, is, what the fuck is he trying to say? Thank you, Green, or whoever killed that dude. What it boils down to is how people play. And if everybody is hiding and in corners and not moving, that just makes the game worse and makes you not want to play it. I don't. Feel like I can own like I mean the game just started who knows what's gonna happen in like a couple weeks if they're playing this if I even make it that long before next gen comes out you know who knows but uh my first impressions were not good my first gameplay actually was a video before this and I actually did pretty good my first time I think I went like 18 and 5 or 7 which is pretty damn ah look at that look at that come on oh Fools, dudes, hiding buildings. Look at that. He hurt, but he hurt me coming a mile away, anyways, because um, I don't have any silence perks on, whatever. And you know what? You know how big these maps are? Half the time, you never finish the game because the time is running out. Damn, he stabbed the hell out of that dude. Oh, oh, he got a chopper? What the fuck is that? Uh, let me get in the corner so I can talk. There's one map that's, it's not as big as this, was like a big mall, man. 
And I swear I think that's battle for every time I play it. Like, we really should have a perk to spot people. Like, because some, the maps are something so big that you be like, you can't shoot them, you don't want to go your position. And you want to have a teammate that's right next to him. You be like, you know, it might be a green that's not in the party with you or something. You just want to say, yo, turn around, look behind you, or he's right there. Uh, not this map, but another map is like this pretty high jump. Pretty high jumps. And you want to be like, they killed my dog in. Besides, you want to jump out the building or whatever? Oh, uh, where's he at? Where's he at? Enemy satcom spotted. I'll take that. I'll get it. Uh, this is another thing. Every time you pick up a bag, suitcase rather, it's supposed to be a way to get skip people. My long range is trash, man, with that gun. He, it's like he heard me from, from where he was at, too. Look at that, look at that. Already, already. See, he spawned death again. Yo, look at that. Three deaths in a row on spawn, yo. And look where he was at. Hiding in the bushes. What the freak is up with the spawns? Like, this three automatic deaths off the rip. What a damn ch uh, high street uh, perk out. Like, he should have never got that. That's another thing. Problem with the game is the damn uh, spawns. Spawns are horrible. It's like huge, crazy match, which I've said like 20 times. But you'll spawn, like, right next to somebody. Like, you'll be in the facility of, like, the other team, like, as soon as the game begins. I don't understand that with the maps so damn big. I want 15 and 7. My man, I don't know who his name is, but he went 25 and 3. Um, dogs are pointless. They really only get killed after the fact. Everything is about perks. You die instantly. I didn't play one gameplay yet, and I, I, uh, I, I watched a couple people play, like some of the so-called pros, and I watched a couple, um, listened to a couple of their tweets or whatever. And basically, I played Modern Warfare 3 a couple times before the game came out, and I'm like. I was realizing how much I didn't like Modern Warfare 3. Like, you die so instantly. It's like, you can't turn on anybody. You can't shoot back. As much as Black Ops had connection, hit detection issues, as much as it had horrible, uh, you know, like, hitboxes, man, I prefer that, honestly, than this. Because at least you can fight back. Like, you can't get in a gun battle with somebody, and you, you can outgun them. In this game, that's not happening. You shoot whoever sees whoever sees who first wins. Like, so you have the ADS all the time, basically. And... That's annoying as hell. I just pop it down scope all the time. What a huge, crazy, huge match. Like I said again for the hundredth time. Um, I haven't really the score streaks to me are, are lame, which is good though. It's like it's, I get it that they're getting away from depending on the score streaks, but it's just something fulfilling about you know, getting a veto warship, getting a swarm, you know, after you got so many kills in a row. Cause it's like it ain't like those are easy to get to. You gotta you know work your way up there. And now, like, that whole dynamic is gone. It's like, it's no point to me to go for high kill streaks in this game. Uh, I'm about to go try to go silence this match. See what happens. Do one more round for this review or my thoughts. Ah, uh, come on, when I. Let's see how much camping goes on this round. Alright, now. Well, I gotta get, I'm not gonna get a melee. I'm never gonna get the melee one. I'm not gonna get that close to anybody. Two melee. See, and now that. Oh, where we at? Where we at? Look at that, all them shots. It's, it's a SMGA silence in a short range. I get it. He should have died. Get all that. And where do you know? Someone hiding in the mountains. This is a game too, like you can't just, like I just did, like I didn't pay attention, I just walked out, you can't really do that in this game, you gotta like take your time and look at your surroundings before you even take one step, now I do have on a silenced, like I'm off the grid right now, which definitely, look at that, look at all those dudes over there, I'm pretty much off the grid for the most part, and without this, like I'd probably be even worse right now, Enemy satcom spotted. Um, I should be off. The satcoms as well. Satcom uplink enabled. The UAV sucks. I don't like the whole mobile UAV. I was looking on my radar and dude was in front of me. All right, whatever. 
doing bad now. Might have to get focused, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna win that battle. There you go. Yo, man, that's my fault using the damn SMG. Going long range battles. Not gonna happen, I'm not gonna win them. Got that kill stolen from me. Oh, here we go. I guess he has a knife, he's gonna run around. I'm not gonna go in there because I know he's gonna stab me. Oh, I hear him. There you go, he's coming out. I'm not gonna go in there and let that dude cut me up. Guy second floor. That man got turned on. Stop trying to stab me, ho. Somebody stole that. Damn. Took that up just in case. I need another weapon. Oh, behind me. Woo! Pose got turned on. Nice. Oh, wow. He went in at the... See, that's how you do it. I guess you got to call... Nah, that was gay. I got shot behind. But I like how that... I called it in right when the guy was there. See if I can get off these guys. Nope. Somebody always behind you. One of the same problems I had, too, with... Uh, I haven't run into a lot with what I run into battle. So it's like, you go in the spawn. And if you don't go deep enough, they'll be like right behind you, too, so... I haven't had it happen nowhere near as much as it happens in Battlefield 4, but it does happen. It has happened here for time, so you gotta watch the spawn. Yo, what the hell? I'm out. I don't see myself playing this game like I played uh, Black Ops at all, or right now. And I know that when Black Ops came out, I didn't like a lot of things about it. It was, you know, I had to get used to the head detection. It's never got used to the spawns, but they would, you know, that was the issue. Um, it's a different game. It's not. It's, it's man, it's too damn easy to die. That's all I'm gonna say. Is that our other team quit yet? No, nope, we're still here. All right. See, look at that. Some of these parks is whack. Look at that guy didn't even die. That better not be a teammate. See that guy was outlived this. Let me pick up his stuff. Oh, he got a silenced on his uh sniping is ridiculous. I haven't got one kill with a sniper yet. I picked him up on the map. That's not. I'm not gonna touch the sniper yet till I still perfect all these guns. It's gonna be a ways for that. I don't even feel comfortable doing what I just did right there. I probably didn't die. They about to quit or something? My man dog is glitching. Alrighty. Good job. But yeah, that's pretty much my review of this game. It's, it's, it tried to copy off Battlefield way too much with these damn huge maps. And then on this system, it's almost like these games should have definitely... <laughs> Of course they should come out, but it's like, man, if you if you're thinking like, should I go out and get this for this gen, and then upgrade later and do all that stuff? No, it's not worth it. Is you're better off waiting to have the full experience next gen completely, and not waste your time with Battlefield or Call of Duty on the 360, man, because it's just Battlefield looks horrible, and there's so many issues with the box, and then this game, you know, it's 12v12 on big team. Like, come on, like, what is that all about? You add bigger maps, but you freaking make less people be able to play on them. What kind of trash is that? I don't know, man. But that's pretty much my review, my thoughts. The same things everybody's saying. I wanted to wait, and I knew I felt the same way at first, but then it's like playing without a crew makes your experience even worse. Not putting on dead silence is almost a must. Pretty much uh, that one perk, I forgot what it's called. So you can f shoot faster when you're aiming. If you're using an AR, you definitely got to have that on. 
Uh, you can have multiple characters, which is cool, but there's no way to switch different loadouts. In a, uh, or you can switch out these three loadouts, but I can't switch none of my other characters in the game, which is stupid to me. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. This game, so far, first impressions, not impressed at all. You know, multiplayer-wise. But I've never really been a fan of Treyarch. I mean, uh, uh, Infinity War, I've always preferred Treyarch. I, my favorite game was World War. And even though they had huge maps, too, they had tanks. They made the huge maps were utilized. Here, you got huge maps with no tanks, no vehicles at all. <laughs> they just, you know, it's silly. Oh, I got some messages? Nah. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I don't see what much can change from this gen to next gen. And I'm not, I'm not really a Battlefield fan, but with the crew, I can see having a lot more fun playing some uh, huge maps and playing some domination with 64 players and all that stuff. On that might be more fun than this stuff, man. Who knows? There's nothing really can change from this gen to next gen. These games are already made, even though they claim they're not ports. I'm starting to have a hard time to believe that. But PC is having problems with their. Uh, bootleg dedicated servers so i don't know but uh that's my somewhat not really a review just my experience of playing so far